Is that moment all right? Here's the deal. I don't want to criticize Apple just because it's popular to do so, but sometimes I really don't want to be quiet and this is the right moment to do so. Let's talk about Clash of Titans that should have been. Ladies and gentlemen, 13 inch MacBook Pro 2020 versus previous year's model coming after the intro. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to MD Channel, your weekly fix of tech news, leaks, rumors and opinions, everything about Apple and their competitors. 13 inch MacBooks Pro are considered as a golden ticket for macOS performance strain, at least for those on a budget. A model from 2019 was okay upgrade, ditching two core CPU something that never belonged to models with pro designation. I will not exclude attempts to fix now notorious butterfly keyboard. Touch bar and touch ID was there, integrated graphics, amazing retina display and so on. So in the end of 2019, I decided to upgrade my machine. I sold my 11 inch MacBook Air from 2014 and decided to look for something more powerful. 13 inch MacBook Pro base model seemed like a logical option for me, at least for job and this YouTube madness. However, I was concerned. Don't get me wrong, considering how many MacBooks have been sold in 2019, I guarantee there's only a small percentage that really had an issues with keyboards. But still, because it's Apple, this story has to be pumped up a little bit. I do blame Apple for one thing. They already knew there could be an issue with butterfly keyboards on 2019 models, but they still launched them with those keyboards. Plus, Apple launched 16-inch MacBook Pros same year and they launched them with new Magic Keyboards. In the meanwhile, many enthusiasts and professionals on a budget were stuck, condemned to wait and who knows for how long or buy probably the most expensive laptops in the industry. Although, in Apple defense, they did promise free replacement for keyboards in the next three to four years. Now, if something do happens in the future and they don't have replacement parts, you might end up with your laptop. This is not me, this is look me on speaking. So, I was really in a hurry and I decided to take a leap of faith and I purchased 13 inch MacBook Pro base model from 2019. So far, keyboard works fine, although I do have a keyboard cover to prevent dust from entering under keycaps. Performance wise, this is an excellent laptop. Mac OS is by far the most unique experience in the industry. For video editing and photo editing, pss, this machine is a beast. The downside is 120 gigs of storage. In Final Cut Pro, this storage gets eaten in a matter of hours. As far as memory goes, I have 8 gigs, okay, I could use more. Now, the new 2020 13 inch MacBook Pro is uh, familiar? Small increase in thickness adds enough space for more key travel for new scissor switch keyboard. As in 2019 model, this MacBook Pro comes with amazing display, 8 gigs of DDR3, but unfortunately with poor selection of I.O. and shitty FaceTime camera again. Storage increase to 256 gigs is a welcome addition, similarly to the latest MacBook Air lineup. Now let's talk about processor. 1.4 GHz 8 Gen i5 processor is powerful quad-core CPU, although it's been 3 years old. Now, before you start complaining, this is not the first time that Apple is doing something like this. I mean, if you recall, for example, 2017 MacBook Air that was still sold in 2018 still used a 5th gen i5 processor from 2014, so that's nothing new. So just to be clear, I'm not criticizing. This quad-core processor is really powerful. It can go up to 3.9 GHz turbo boost mode without any thermal throttling. But at least they could have made some um, price adjustments. Check this out. This year's MacBook Air started with 10 Gen i3 processor for a price of only $9.99. It wouldn't make sense for Apple to charge MacBook Pro below the price of second tier MacBook Air, which has also four cores and it's $12.99. But still, to conclude, my critics doesn't go against the specs. 
my critic is against the price of the same specs. It's not a MacBook refresh. For me, this is 13 inch MacBook Pro 2020 in 2019 body with 2017 CPU with fixed keyboard, which is by the way their fault, and little extra storage. That's it. How do you see this latest edition of 13 inch MacBook Pro? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this, don't forget thumbs up and please share it with someone. If you're a fan of this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. Thank you for watching. Have an excellent day. Bye.